Hi everyone, James Barry here from the Cash Management Group at Canaccord Genuity. You might be wondering what credit ratings are and why do they matter? Well, you've come to the right place. In simple terms, a credit rating determines the likelihood an investor will get their money back from an issuer of a security, such as a bond or a stock. A high credit rating suggests that a borrower is likely to repay the loan without any issues, while a poor credit rating suggests that the borrower might not be able to make due on their payments. So who or what are credit ratings assigned to? Well, essentially, any entity seeking to borrow money, and these include an individual, corporation, a state or provincial authority, sovereign government. The credit rating industry is dominated by four agencies. In order of global market share, the top agencies are Standard & Poor's, aka, or also known as S&P, Moody's Investor Services, Fitch Group, and DBRS Morningstar, which is the only agency out of Canada. The role of these companies is to assess the financial strength of companies and governments, as well as their ability to honor debt obligations. Now, these agencies compare the quality of credit ratings on a scale. Each agency has their own version, but in general, they range from AAA as the highest quality to C or D as the lowest quality. But what exactly impacts credit ratings? Well, there are five primary factors that influence a credit rating. The first is the payment history of the company or government. The second is the amount of debt and types of debt. The third is the current cash flow and income of that company or government. The fourth is the market outlook for the entity. And last, organizational issues that may prevent timely repayment of the debt. Credit ratings can change over time. For example, credit rating of the US government by S&P was adjusted from a AAA rating, that's the highest, to AA plus in August of 2011. This change had a large impact on global equity markets because of the impact the US has on the global economy. The passage of time also affects credit ratings. A 10-year-old business with good credit will not be viewed as favorably as a 100-year-old business with the same credit. So why are credit ratings important? Well, they play a large role in an investor's decision whether or not to purchase debt instruments, such as bonds, debentures, and treasury bonds. Also, the credit rating will determine the interest rate at which the loan will be paid. Generally speaking, investors are compensated for lending to lower rated organizations with higher interest rates. As always, reach out to us if you have any questions about credit ratings. And be sure to stay tuned for more financial and economic information. Again, I'm James Barry from the Cash Management Group. Like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.